Hey guys, Kim here. Today I'm going to be unboxing this hand crank grain mill just in case power goes out and I can't use my fabulous wonder mill. I just did a review on it, uh, an unboxing rather, and I'll link it down below. Um, brand new to this whole milling my own grain thing. Very excited to be doing it for the nutritional value and sustainability as well. So this is from Roots and Branches. I got it off Amazon. I'll link that down below. And it had four and a half stars. That's why I picked it. And it was very simplistic. I don't want a lot of cleanup and I don't want a very gadgety one. I'm a very simple person actually. Um, I just need easy. So. Oh, yes, it comes with an instruction manual as well. But who really looks at these all that much? Um, not me. So what we have here is your handle. Whoop. And this is made out of stainless steel, I believe. It's made out of a nice steel base. Um, seems very, very sturdy just coming out the gate here. So here is the top to it where the grain will go in and it's gonna shoot out here. I'm gonna connect it up and then we're gonna try it out. So I put the little topper on. And I'm going to bring this screw down. I wish you could do it just to your thickness here. Oh yeah. This is really great. Now we're gonna attach the crank. Okay, so take that off for a second. So the adjustment part on here, so you adjust your wheat berries or whatever you want to put in here that's a dry product, is going to be this little guy right here, which is located on the back with a hand crank. So if you bring it out more, I'm assuming that it's going to be a more coarse flower in the end, and if it's tight up against it, it should be a nice flower that we can use with bread. Two to three cups of grain the first time you do it. Oh, goodness. Okay, so it only holds two cups of wheat berries. Any other thing might might be less or more, depending on what you're putting through this. But it says two to three cups need to be ran through this initially. So we're starting with two. Okay, Wow, that is super fine. Those are really super fine granules or whatever you want to call it. It's really super fine wheat. I'm liking that. Let's see what it looks like a little coarse. I'm going to adjust this out for a coarser grind. And you can already see how that's a little more coarse. That's really cool. You can actually see more of the wheat berry in there. It's pretty coarse compared to that right there. And you can see how much I have gotten done. Uh, this will take a little more arm strength, a little more time, but I think it'd be great for if the electricity ever went out or something crazy, you know? So you'd have this as a backup if you really needed to have some bread. And this one was right at around $60. Um, and if you have children to mill your wheat for you, it, it's, it's very easy. So this is a really coarse, I don't know what you'd use this one for, but that is a really coarse granule. It looks like nuts. It looks like nuts, yeah. So coarse, medium, and flour. That's really good flour right there. Milling your own wheat has so many good vitamins in it where it's been stripped from this grocery store. So this can sustain your family if need be just on bread alone. And if it come, came down to it, just add water and put it over an open flame and you'll have like unleavened bread. So far, I'm really liking this as a backup. I'll probably use my electric one all the time. This would be a great backup if ever needed. 
I forgot to mention, I am using this Great River Organic Wheat Berries, and I got it off Amazon. We, we are getting wheat from other places, but this is the fastest, and I'll put a link for this below.